Last year, when I announced that I would be building a missing model from Ferrari's lineup, a challenge Stradale Spider, well, let's just say I was not the most popular chap, especially among the Ferrari aficionados, and even more so when I revealed that the donor car I would be using was in fact an undamaged, well-maintained, and very, very nice example, genuine challenge finale, which I then intended to strip apart and use for all its unique goodies. That created uproar with the purists. How could I take a beautiful, cult, rare Ferrari and literally destroy it? And that was the sentiment for a number of videos as I went about the build up until I revealed the Spider in its new coat of Rosso Scuderia paint along with correctly applied factory Tricolor stripe. At that point, it was as if I flicked a switch and suddenly it all came together with the audience. They understood the need for this car and the extreme lengths we were prepared to go to create this car and do justice as if it was built at the factory itself. Opinion changed and most people got on board with this special one-off build. However, what I hadn't divulged were my plans for the donor challenge Stradale after we'd finished stripping it. A second point to note here was to emphasize that the unique Spider build was slightly different to my normal projects in that it was not actually built for me, but for a friend with a very mighty impressive Ferrari collection. So for many who asked why I just didn't simply strip my black Challenge Ferrari or fake CS that I built 12 years ago, with all the genuine parts that I'd use then. Why not just simply use the parts from that? The answer was obvious because the black car was mine, it wasn't my friend's, and well, despite the car being very rough, I have a lot of sentimental attachments to that little beauty. So about that original Silver Stradale, well as part of the Spider project, my terms I had agreed upon building it were that I would also buy back the donor car and everything that came off the Spider. In essence, a complete car, but somewhat of a 360 Frankenstein. And that, my friends, is where the new build begins. For this build, we're going back to basics. We're gonna be doing it all here on the driveway with simple tools. Let's open up the garage. And I'll show you what we've got installed today. Before we go ahead and get the car out of the garage, there are a couple of little things I wanna point out. First of all, engine lid here, obviously between a coupe and a spider, extremely different because we've got the, uh, the different lines there. Fortunate for me because if you add up polycarbonate screen, carbon intakes there, the actual rear deck with the uh, much more pronounced spoiler, the nudger at the back there, the carbon bars across, all the other little bits, if you could get those and you had to buy them all separately from Ferrari, they're no longer available, but it would cost you £25,000. So that's a big thumbs up for me. Other thing is the bumpers and the side skirts. I managed to get original ones of those and we've had them sprayed at the shop before bringing the car back home. The rest of it though, on the exterior, is everything we need to get on with today. Okay, let's head over here into my office and I'll explain what the plan of action is today. So we're gonna be focusing on the exterior of the car and all of the performance parts that Ferrari added to the Stradale to make it so special. So on the floor here, we have the suspension, full suspension uh, for the Stradale. Um, shocks with the titanium springs 20% uh, stiffer than the standard ones we've got new bushes on those a few other bits down here we've got cats on top of the testarossa we have the carbon ceramic brake system full carbon ceramic brake system so that's handbrake calipers different uh, on the car front and rear calipers we've got the um, stradali carbon ceramic discs uh, with the silver centers over at the back there, we've got the air box with the beautiful carbon fiber uh, air intake boxes there. Uh, we've got the brakes booster system. We've got the water coolant reservoir in silver, which is slightly different on the Stradale. Over here in the corner, we have the front and rear anti-roll bars, 20% stiffer for Stradale. If we come into the garage, 
we have a new set of wheels to go on the car, Stradale wheels, along with the titanium wheel bolts, Stradale exhaust system, lovely little bits that hide all the horrible bits there. We've got hubs, down here we've got computers, engine computers, we've got the uh, Stradale suspension computer, more computers, TCU here, Challenge Stradale, genuine, Challenge Stradale, uh, maths, so we've got a lot of stuff. And this is half of it, not even half of it. There's plenty more to go. So we're gonna be focusing on all four corners of the car to start with, and then we'll gradually move our way around. So suspension and brake system first. So here's the plan. We're gonna change all four corners. We're gonna do the suspension and the brakes at the same time. Then I'm gonna go around and give everything a really, really good clean up. So we're gonna start off by removing this track rod end, which will allow me to then move everything around a little bit easier and gain a bit more access. A little bit more movement. Now this is the only annoying bit, is I'm going to have to bleed all the brake system again, which is not easy on these cars. Oops. So the main brake caliper is off, next it's the handbrake caliper. Now we've got the cable out, that's just a case of wedging that back and just uh, untangling it. I've got one more bolt. Ferrari Modena. Handbrake caliper. Now while we have the two systems off the car, it makes sense to check out the differences between the steel and the carbon ceramics uh, with both the size and the weight. So the steel discs are the same all around the car, front and rear, and these measure in at 330 mil. Whereas the carbon ceramics, these are the fronts for the uh, Stradale and the Enzo, in fact, 380 mil. So straight away, we get an extra 50 mil of braking surface. Now, the biggie though, is the weight. So the steels, I can tell you, are heavy. And they weigh in at 8.2 kilograms. Whereas the fronts on our carbon ceramics, Gonna be very careful with these things. Let's see if we can get this in here. We in at 6.5. So straight away that times four corners, and bear in mind these are bigger on the uh, on the front, so the rears are gonna weigh a little bit less. That is quite a bit of weight saving, and it's unsprung weight as well. So uh, it's a big thumbs up to the Stradale brake system. Okay, one suspension strut. So our new shock is going in. So we can just get this bolt in over here. This cable goes over that side. And then that goes in there. And we're gonna leave those loose so we can get the bottom part in. Onto the front of the car now, so we're gonna be changing all the shocks, all the brake system on here, putting all the uh, carbon ceramics back on it. Now, it should be, in theory, slightly easier than the back because we don't have the extra handbrake caliper to deal with. However, I'm sure in true Ferrari fashion, it's gonna throw me a few curveballs. Now, if you guys have been following the channel and you saw the videos on uh, the black CS, you will know how much problems I had with all of the brake system on that one and uh, things snapping and causing me all kinds of problems with uh, parts reliability and uh, parts availability. Um, anyway, you might also be asking yourselves, why has this car got the standard Ferrari brake system on it uh, when it's a genuine Challenge Rodale? Well, when uh, we did the project, I had to get the car out of the uh, shop. It was just sick, sitting around. So we put everything on this car to make it uh, roadworthy again. So all the brake system, all the engine, everything in order to be able to drive it and get it back in the garage there while I parked it up for a few months and spent my days 
searching the internet to find all of the parts to do this and put it back to originality. So let's crack on with the front. That is suspension shock out. Now, I had to remove the uh, top suspension arm here just to make it easier because uh, I had a stiff bolt down here and I needed a bit more access. Anyway, that is done. Time to put it back together. There's three corners done, one more to go, and I'm sure the last one is gonna be the one that has the problems. Now guys, I would love your opinion on this one. So obviously we have bought the uh, complete carbon ceramic brake system along with all the other parts uh, from Prague. Now the calipers are all red. I've bolted them on the car. My original intention was to put them back to the factory color that this car came with, which was black. But having dropped this car down on the floor, I really think it suits these red calipers. Uh, <laughs> I really am tempted to just keep it like this. Uh, but let me know your thoughts down there. Should I keep it or should we put them back to black? I've just cleaned up the hub and a bit of the area in the uh, wheel arch there. And it's time to install the last bits on the final corner. The exterior on the Stradale rebuild is almost complete. There's one other key item that transforms the look of a normal 360 into that lovely Stradale spec. Can you guess what it is? By far, the hardest thing on this rebuild has been finding all of the genuine parts to put back on the car. Now, if you remember, the reason we have the silver Stradale was to take off all of those original bits to put onto the Stradale Spider build. And I said, it's impossible basically to do what I did 12 years ago um, with my black Stradale building it. You just can't find the parts anymore. So the only reason I've been able to do this is we actually planned the Stradale Spider build over about three years ago. So it was two years prior to actually starting the build and then it took me almost a year to build it. So in those three years, I have bought Stradale parts from here, there and everywhere, be it directly from Ferrari taking the last of the stock on the door cards, the centre console, many of the things that they no longer have available, uh, finding them on Marketplace or wherever, anywhere around the world. And the key part for the exterior is one of these, or a set of these, the carbon mirrors. Now these are so, so rare. I've said before, Ferrari contact me to ask me if I know of any of these available for their customers. Uh, and they are just, you never see them. And when you do, they are very expensive. Now, I did find this one here. Now, this is half of a mirror uh, from a damaged car. And the idea really was, okay, it's something we could use maybe as a start point, see if we could manufacture it. but. These things are extremely complex. They are made of two halves, and as you can see, we've got the glass out at the moment. We've got all the channel inside. These are all electric as well. Uh, we've got a mechanism down here, which is really difficult. You just can't get things like that. We've got a sensor, we've got the badge here. And then what I did was I took a mold from my car, my black car, and we did start to play around to see if we could create something. But as you can see, 
that is not that good. Okay, well it was a start point and that was the plan and the route we were gonna see if we could go down. I spoke to many people about creating uh, something like this and nobody can do it. Uh, it is quite a complex uh, carbon fiber build. Then, just by chance, a set came up down in Frankfurt in Germany and so I jumped on the chance, uh, bought them and they're so rare, I didn't want to risk shipping them. So me and my nephew went on a road trip down to Germany, picked up the mirrors, and then uh, we went on to Prague to pick up a load more parts that you saw earlier in the So video. it's currently 5 a.m. in the morning. Me and Josh have been on the road since two o'clock. Uh, we're currently, let me guess where we are. We're on a train and about to leave Folkestone in the UK heading under the Channel Tunnel over to France, first stop, and then we've got two more stops in a day. Dedication, this is dedication for you to get some Stradali parts. Uh, we're gonna be on the road for two days to pick up a load of bits. Josh is uh, rather excited and I'm rather tired. Throat. A few hours later and we had made it to Frankfurt collecting some very nice mirrors from a chap with a rather tricked out 430. What do you think of this thing? And then we were straight back on the road for what felt like eternity in the trusty Nissan and finally we made it to Prague. So we're currently en route to uh, get some more Stradali parts in the middle of nowhere. Oh man, it's a little bit sketchy. <laughs> and, uh, are we going to get the parts or um, are we in fact going to um, get killed? <laughs> no. It's all in. Uh, Let's see if it shuts. Yes. Let's slap on the mirrors, not slap them on, let's be very careful and uh, gently put the mirrors on and finish off the exterior of the CS. I have just installed these and they are absolutely beautiful. They literally transform a normal 360. This is the little parts that make the massive difference on one of these cars. They were just modern art. Anyway, that's job done. Next job is the Challenge Stradale rear grill. Now, this is a Challenge grill from the 360 that was on the Spider, and this is genuine Challenge Stradale. Now, to most people, they look exactly the same, apart from obviously the badge here. But if you look very closely, and I compare this one to this one, the holes are just slightly bigger. So, and this is aluminium, this is a steel one from factory as well. This is a genuine one. So we're just uh, changing them over, changing the lightsaber. Well guys, that is the exterior on the Stradale complete and I think it's kind of absolutely amazing. In fact, with those red calipers, I really do think it's better than it was originally. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. The next video is all gonna be about the interior. Now if you thought the exterior was difficult for me to source those parts, 
wait till you see the extreme lengths I went to to source all the original bits for the inside of the car. You can join me in the next video guys, don't forget smash that like button if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel and I will see you very shortly in the next one. Ciao for now.